Good morning. morning. Or as our very own commencement speaker sang in the opening lines of his 2008 Evolver, good morning. (laughs) Forgive me, John. (laughs) Forgive me all. We're here together on this beautiful morning to celebrate the extraordinary accomplishments of the undergraduate class of 2021. And you know, I have a special bond with your class as we, you as new first year students and I as a new president, arrived here at Duke together four years ago. So, So let me be the very first to say congratulations. And to your families and friends, thank you and welcome. To our honorary degree recipients and special guests, welcome to Duke's 168th annual, well, almost annual, commencement exercises. Now, to to our graduates, I suspect for you and your family and friends as well, you will remember this morning, the morning of your 1,348th day as Duke students for the rest of your lives. And it's already been a busy day. Google tells me that at approximately 621 and 28 seconds, the sun rose somewhere over East Union just as it did that day that you arrived on East Campus for move-in four years ago. It followed the winding path of Campus Drive, making the same trip you did countless times on the C1 or C2. A few moments later, light greeted the birds flitting from branch to branch in the gardens. It shone through the windows of the Broadhead Center, cast gem-light beams, through the stained glass in the chapel and illuminated this stadium where we're gathered for this glorious morning, this new beginning, this joyful commencement. And it's no coincidence that we host Duke's commencements in the morning. You know, for one thing, it's usually the coolest part of the day. And uh, the first Sunday in May here in North Carolina can sometimes be a scorcher. Today is fortunately an exception, but I can tell you and faculty can tell you these robes do not exactly breathe. (laughs) But there's also a deeper and more profound reason for meeting as we do in the morning. Commencement, as the name suggests, is not an end, but a beginning. Today we celebrate not the end of your careers at Duke, your graduation from Duke, but the beginning of your careers as Duke alumni. To put it another way, today is not the twilight of your life at Duke. It's the morning of the very extraordinary lives you have ahead. So in that spirit of beginning, we gather to celebrate this day, one that's made all the more joyful as we mark the slow return of normal life amidst the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. For a number of you, this commencement is the long-awaited start of a career that you've been working toward since you arrived here. And you set off from this moment with renewed purpose and promise. Others are headed to graduate school. Some will go off to serve your country or community. Some to a well-deserved rest just to take in the lay of the land before setting off on new adventures. Each of you will celebrate many commencements to come in one form or another, and will likely find that the twisting path of life leads to unexpected new beginnings, that each new dawn can break over wild and wonderful new landscapes. Now, of course, life won't always be a celebration of these new beginnings. 
As much as your families, your friends, faculty members, and I wish it were not the case, and no matter how well Duke has prepared you for what comes next, you will undoubtedly encounter some darker days and nights. And this class has perhaps already experienced more than your share, particularly in the uncertainty and the distress of the pandemic. But as the great bard of the Belle Epoque, Victor Hugo, put it, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Or for the music majors among you, in the equally in the words of the equally great bards of the 70s jazz rock fusion Steely Dan, as any major dude will tell you, when the demon is at your door in the morning, it won't be there no more. So the class of 2021 rises this morning to a new day. Just as you've risen with purpose and passion to seek the opportunities of life at Duke, you've made lasting contributions and you've left your mark on every corner of campus, from East Campus to the Gardens to the Broadhead Center to the Chapel. And now you mark this glorious morning where we greet you for the first time as Duke alumni. We're proud to be with you here, here at the beginning, and we can't wait to see where you go from here. Congratulations to the great class of 2021.